Let me just show it using two basic rules. And I just want you guys to understand, because if you weren't doing something like this, what I want you guys to understand is um, we're going to go through two different ways. And the other two rules you guys can use is now we have this kind of expression raised to a power. So when you have an expression, only when it's separated by multiplication and division can you apply this power. For instance, what we're going to talk about later today is when expressions are separated by addition and subtraction. See this? You cannot apply distributive property. No. x plus 2 squared is x plus 2 times x plus 2. However, when you have an expression separated by multiplication and division, you can distribute the negative. We are going to be doing both of these today. So I want to make sure you guys understand you can do it here, but not here. Okay. So if you, were to if you were to rewrite this, it would be 2 raised to the negative first times x squared raised to the negative first over y cubed raised to the negative first. Then as I go ahead and um, do this, I can simplify this into 2 to the negative first, x to the negative second, divided by y to the negative third. Now, since, these are, since it's negative in the numerator, to make them positive, I have to put them in the denominator. Since they're negative in the denominator, the exponents, or the powers, to make them positive, I put them in the numerator. The other way to do this, if you guys look at the reciprocal power, or the reciprocal um, rule that I have in rules of exponents, what that states is if you have a negative power and you have a reciprocal, oh, I'm sorry, negative raised to a power, all you need to do is if you reciprocate that, it's now to the positive power. And do you guys see how this would give you the exact same answers? Do you guys see how they're the exact same answers? So if you, have a, if you have a fraction raised to a negative power, just reciprocate it, and then you could apply the power. But in this case, the power is 1, so we don't even have to do anything. We just had to reciprocate it. However, if the power is like 2 or something, you have to do it. But just want to show you guys either way. Either way with this. Yes? Sorry? Yes, but what I'm saying is 2 to the negative first, though, if you were to make that positive, would be a 2 in the denominator. x to the negative second, to make that positive, you'd put it in the denominator. So you'd get the same answer, just two different routes, two different ways to do it. 